What's up, what's happening? What is going on, everybody? Every soccer fan is in love with Mo Salah, and there's really good reason why. He is an Egyptian sensation who is taking over the world of soccer, and I'm sure if you haven't heard of him or don't know much about him, you're going to like him very soon, especially with the World Cup right around the corner. I'm Mike Canalipo, and today we present interesting facts you probably didn't know about Mo Salah. A long day. So he used to start his days by going to school starting at 7 a.m. Then he would take the train and arrive to a training ground around 2, 2.30. Then that training would end at 6 p.m. But he lived so far away from the training ground that he wouldn't get home until 10 or 10.30 at night. Then he would wake up. I mean, he would go to sleep, then wake up and rinse and repeat. Do this five times a week for four years. Apparently, it pays off. Helping a thief. So he had this big interview with the Daily Mail. Uh, Salah's family was robbed in Alexandria. It was during this interview that he said that his father wanted to file charges against the perpetrator, but Salah had him drop the case and gave the thief money to start a new life. He said that he wanted everybody to have a chance to be better. It takes a village. So Mo married Maggie Salah in 2013. They now have one daughter, but getting to that daughter part took a while. Uh, they offered an open invitation to his village of Nagrig in Egypt to attend the wedding. It was a thousand people attended. Jeez, Liverpool is like a cult. He's not really your average star in Liverpool. Uh, he has plenty of chants. One of them is Liverpool fans chanting that they will convert to Islam if he keeps up scoring his goals. Salah loves it, apparently. Giving back. He bought an ambulance service in his village. Uh, he spends a reported like 4,000 US dollars a month to help families in need. He is funding schools and hospitals in his hometown. On top of that, he has his own foundation. Then he's paid for construction of soccer fields in his hometown as well. The man is giving back to Egypt, especially his hometown of Nagri. From Britain with love. So yeah, he may be Egyptian. Well, he is Egyptian, but Britain loves him like he's their own. He has his own shoes that went on display at the British Museum. He scored 32 goals in one season with those shoes, and I guess they became history. Almost not a legend. So his 2014-15 campaign with Chelsea almost did not happen. Salah was required to complete military service as all Egyptian men are. Uh, the Egyptian prime minister and its minister of higher education resolved the matter. So Salah was able to play and that was the year Salah became the star that we know and love now. Vote for Salah. So the current president of Egypt may face some stiff competition one day. Many fans during the latest election put Salah on their ballot. <laughs> they crossed out both of the other candidates and wrote his name out. Now, he does love Egypt and he is the most important figure in Egypt around the world. He's really kind of bridging the gap between uh, the Western world and the Middle East. You never know, politics could be better with Mo Salah in them. What other interesting facts about Mo Salah should I have included in here? Let me know so that I can find out more about the guy I love so much. Until next time, I'm Mike Thanks for watching.